Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Seeing as you all loved my corporate workwear video so much, I thought I'd share five relaxed but still professional looking outfits which are perfect if you work in a more creative environment. I work in TV so for day to day I don't really need to wear anything too corporate to the office and technically I could wear jeans five days of the week for work, however I choose not to. But if you are planning on wearing jeans for the office, I find that dark jeans always look smarter. For this first look, I've worn a pair of really dark navy jeans which I have cuffed at the ankle. I've tucked in a silk striped shirt which I've worn belted at the waist and I've thrown a blazer over the top. The blazer that I'm wearing is one that I bought from Helmet Lang in LA about seven years ago. To tie the entire look together, I've paired it with some really gorgeous suede pointed toe flats. I just find that a pointed toe is a lot more elegant than a round toe and it really helps to dress up those jeans. My bag is another investment piece that I also bought when I was in the US. It's my Proenza Schooler Pierce 11 satchel. While it's definitely seen better days, it is one of those key things that I bought when I was looking for something to really elevate my workwear outfits. What I love about this look is that it's really clearly the key pieces that help to elevate it and make it a little bit more appropriate for the office. For outfit number two, I really wanted to focus on the fact that workwear doesn't have to be boring. You can really inject your personality and that's exactly what I've done with this outfit. As you can see, there's a huge pop of color in there which I absolutely adore. So I've gone for a ruffle sleeve top with a really fun polka dot print. Polka dots are one of those things that I really like to inject into a lot of my outfits. I love the way that it's really classic, but it just takes my outfit to the next level. Then I've gone with some pink trousers which tie at the waist. I really love these, they're from Topshop and they're a peg leg style which taper in at the ankle. Personally, I find these to be the most flattering style. Then for a little bit more color, I've gone with a tan suede pointed toe heel and a blush leather bag. I really feel like if you wanted to put a little bit more color into this outfit, you could definitely throw on a really nice camel colored sweater that would look really lovely too, or even a camel colored blazer over the top. I toyed with wearing the Chloe tan linen blazer that I have with this outfit, but I decided to leave it just to let the ruffle sleeves shine. A good denim skirt is an absolute essential in my wardrobe. It's something that I find is a real foundation piece for so many of my outfits. And for the office, I really like the way that it looks paired with a blazer as I find that it just helps to smarten up the entire outfit. This blazer is a checked one from Storm and it is so on trend at the moment. I really feel like this kind of piece is also a classic though and I love the longer length. I know it's going to be one of those items that I'll continue to reach for season after season. I decided I also wanted to play with a bit of print so as you can see I've mixed things up with this Proenza Schooler graphic printed long sleeve top and I've gone for a circle bag again another really trendy piece and my shoes are some really lovely slip on loafer mules with tassel detail which are from Everlane. I love these and I feel like it's a really great way to get into that more masculine sort of a vibe while still keeping your outfit really feminine. Now if you watch my corporate workwear video then you probably will have seen that I'm really into tonal looks and this is one of those kind of really basic throw on and go outfits. I've paired a navy blue skivvy which is another one of those autumn essentials for me with a pair of navy ankle trousers. On my feet, I've gone for a really playful pair of shoes. These gorgeous suede bow mules, which look a lot more expensive than they actually are. And I have a feeling they're going to get a lot of mileage over autumn and then as we go into spring. I've worn a tan leather bag just to get a little bit more color into the outfit. And I feel like this would look really great with a blazer thrown over the top as well. Because this outfit is so simple, I've really played with textures. As you'll see, the skivvy has this really gorgeous kind of striped textured effect to it, which really shines when you see it up close. Basic definitely doesn't have to be boring, and I love that this is one of those outfits that you really can just throw on and walk out the door without having to think much more about your look, and I feel as though it would look gorgeous with a pair of black 
low heels as well. Then my final outfit is definitely the most casual of all of them and I've kind of got two ways to wear this. So starting off with the base outfit, I've got a huge cream oversized knit which is one of my favorite pieces in my wardrobe at the moment. I picked this up at the beginning of the year during the sale and it's definitely been one of my best investments of 2018 so far. I've tucked it into a black A-line mini skirt and also worn it with a pair of black ankle boots. If it was cold enough, you could also throw on a pair of tights. However, in Sydney, I've found that it's been really warm this autumn so far, so haven't needed to pull out the tights yet. I tend to gravitate towards more neutral and minimal color palettes, and this is definitely right up my street. To make this a little bit more smarter for the office, I think the best way to do that is to throw on a blazer and wear a structured bag. So I've popped on this black Isabel Morant blazer, which is just such a beauty, and this really gorgeous little black and red bag from Angti and Yang. So those are my five more relaxed but also still professional outfits for the office. I would love to know which of these outfits was your favorite and if there are any that you would be rocking to the office. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time with a brand new video. See you soon. Bye.